It's only you, the African leaders, who foolishly receive European prime ministers and American presidents like a, like a hero in Africa when they came. You have to make them feel like they are the, they are the, they are the owner of Africa. Yeah. I pray to God, let me become a leader. Then white man, as a white prime minister, if you came to my country, I will treat you like a normal white slave that I own. You can never be to beat up your chesses in my country. It's not possible as a white man. Who the hell are you? But the foolish African leaders we have right now, they accepted all this. Because of visa. Now you want to go and invade Niger. You want to go and fight against your fellow African country because they want liberation. The citizens are okay with the liberation. The militaries and all the servicemen are, are okay with the leadership of military. The citizens are okay with the leadership of military. Then what is the problem? Tell me. Who are you going to fight? Why are you fighting? Now you are fighting the, against the citizens? Will? And you are fighting against the military's will, the servicemen's will? Then who are you, who are you fighting for? Because I think if you are not fighting for the militaries, you are fighting for the citizens. If the citizens are not okay with it, you can say, oh, we are going there because their citizens are not happy with the military government. But Niger citizens are okay with it. So who are you going to fight for? You are going there because a Western peoples are not happy with the leader that is in Niger right now because they know everything is cut off for them. That is what should be clear to Africans that your foolish leaders in Africa who are included in ECOWAS are going to invade uh, or are planning to invade Niger because Western peoples ask them to do so. And they pay them and threatening them to cut off the Western visa from them if they don't invade Niger, if they don't restore Bozum into power. And this is the fact. And the Western parliaments that are members of this and trying to push this thing so far to make sure that they create war or millions of Africans will die, but they have to get what they want to get from Niger. EU is among the European Union. Clear. Loud and clear. I will repeat it again. EU is among. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. France government, that, those are there, <laughs> loud and clear. Even if I don't mention them, I think people should understand that France is always there. American government, loud and clear. England, loud and clear. Germany, loud and clear. Italy, loud and clear. When I saw the Italian Prime Minister, it reminded me of something when I mentioned Italy. When I saw the Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Melone, a woman who don't have respect for a black man. The Italian Prime Minister who don't have respect for no one. He's a woman who don't have respect. I said it loud and clear. The Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, I saw Africans are posting some of his videos that he was saying Africans should be this, Africans should be that, we should leave Africa alone, France is stealing from Africa. We want to make sure that Africa get themselves. My fellow Africans, stop posting that disrespectful woman. Because she don't have respect for you, the Africans. And what all she want is to see Africans in sufferation. I know her so much more than any African who is posting her videos in media. Italian Prime Minister. I know her so much. Stop posting her that, he, her that fake videos that he made just to be popular in media. Let me tell you one thing. Italian government is the most racist government in the whole world that hate black people so much. I will tell you that today. The whole European countries are racist on black people. But I will tell you, Italian government is the number one racist, the biggest and the greatest racist continent, country in Europe. Let me make that clear to you. And let go to the prime minister, this disrespectful prime minister of Italy. He's a prime minister who don't have, don't regard, don't have any regard for a black man. Black peoples in general. He was the one saying that we have to make sure that we open projects. We want to open projects in, 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 in where? In Africa to make sure that Africans, they don't migrate, they don't die because African children are dying. African children are in hunger. They don't have clean water. They don't have this. That is because she is laughing at Africa. 
The same woman who is saying that an Africans are sharing it that oh this woman is good. That the same woman was among those who go to Tunisia to pay the Tunisian president a sum of one one billion euro to make sure that Tunisian press government throw all the black people into desert. Let them go and die there. That woman who you black people are celebrating. The Italian Prime Minister you are celebrating. That same Italian Prime Minister not long ago last month she was in Tunisia to pay Tunisian government to throw all black people into Sahara.